So welcome to whale.com. Today we're going to do some consumable testing, MIG gun testing with Kent New. He's our, he's our engineer here at Asteris. And he designs and engineers all this MIG gun consumables and TIG, TIG consumables and does a really good job. So we test the product for him to make sure that it'll hold up to the standards out in the field and everything. So that's what we're going to do today. So what we do is we take the MIG gun and get it all set up. And we put probes on the MIG gun, one on the handle and then two foot down. As Kent directed me to do, this is how we do our testing. So it's very vital that you have these in the right place. And then as you can see, we put them on the graph. So we'll do six minutes every 10 minutes. That's what a duty cycle is. So it's 60% duty cycle. So that's what we'll do. And he'll, he'll check it out on the graph and watch the temperature rise and come down. So we'll do three intervals of six minutes and then we'll go back to the, to the graph there and do our testing. And we do everything to the try to do everything to the IEC code. IEC code, yeah, right, 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 right. So that's the, the basis of why we place the, why we place the probes, the where, probes you do. where they're placed. Right. So that's, uh, well, yeah, you have specs and, and uh, everything yeah. else that go and, along with all this stuff. Right, you know? and it tries to make everything common throughout, you know, so when everyone's testing their MIG guns, right. whoever, every, every one of them has, you know, a, a code that we go by, right. an IEC spec. So. Right. So that's and cool. um, they can be downloaded and uh, purchased and, and reviewed, and you can see where your 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 right. different MIG guns will will fit into right. the duty cycle. What the, whatever they say on the, as they advertise, whatever they say, that's what it, uh, you know. That's what we test to, and that's what we try to maintain right. um, that sort of continuity in the whole in the entire market. Right for so, higher standards. Yeah, absolutely. You know so it makes absolutely. a higher standard. Yep. Yep. Great. So let's do it. Yeah, we'll have a little fun today doing this. And you know what's really fun about this is I'll get to burn up, and I mean burn up, <laughs> some Diamond Spark 46 045 core wire from Bowler with an AWS spec of A5.36. And we're going to use the Miller 252. And the perimeters, I can't really tell you, but we're going to run the machine wide open. All right, here we go. Ten more seconds. Okay, stop. Stop. Stop it. That was our six minutes on. Now we're gonna uh, wait uh, four minutes. So, what I do here is I'm I'm using the IEC standard uh, IEC six zero nine seven four dash seven, which is. Uh, arc welding equipment, and this is uh, part seven for torches, which includes MIG gun, TIG torches, even, um, well, even plasma. Anyway, the program I'm using is uh, just a, a data collection program, and for all the sensors we have, we have, we have the sensors on the handle of the cable, and then I also take an ambient temperature. And so what we'll do is we'll plot each of those. You can see here on my screen, and you'll see later how we how the plot lays out. But here's my handle temperature in blue, my power cable is in red, and I have the ambient temperature in green. Again, we just take the reading as we go, and I'll run, I've got my program set to run for 30 minutes, which is a, on, in this program, it's a 1,800 seconds. So it will split it up and we'll take a temperature reading every second. And so we'll actually see the temperature rise as we're welding along. And go. Right. Good. And Good. 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 Nice. Stop. One thing I also use is an infrared temperature thermometer, and you'll see me walking around in the video as we're filming and uh, doing the, the duty cycle testing. I'll be taking temperatures just to verify what, what is my base material, what, what temperature that is, and then also verifying my, my temperature readings on the handle that I'm getting to make sure that I'm getting accurate readings and they coincide with, with uh, my, uh, my temperature probe here. All right. Five, four, three, two, go. Stop. 
So this is the completion of our 60% uh, duty cycle testing. In the MIG gun here, this uh, that tested today, um, we didn't, the, the temperature did not exceed the ranges, which was, here's the power cable, and it, and it did not exceed the 130 degrees Fahrenheit, and nor did the handle temperature reach over 120, so it fell within the 6% uh, 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 duty cycle range. So that completes the uh, duty cycle testing on a basic MIG gun.